Hello YouTube fans, here again. And I thought I'd do what I did last time when it comes to Halloween, and it's only gonna be Halloween blah, 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 next week. So it's three more days to Halloween, 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 three more days to Halloween, silver some mark. So I realised without ado, let's talk about my favourite horror movies. And then tomorrow I'll talk about horror movies. I hate I spies and I think suck fucking assholes. Say it again, suck assholes. Speaking of female days to Halloween, why not talk about this one, my favourite of the Halloween films. Don't get me wrong, I like all of them. There's two I actually like, so I'll introduce this one after. That being Halloween 3, season of the Ricks. I remember offending Halloween 3, season of the Ricks, because it deserves offending. At the time, John Tarpenter did the two Halloween films, very successful, and if you've ever seen Halloween 2, you know it ended beautiful. Michael got blew up, Dr. Hume self-sacrificed himself, end of movie. So John Tarpenter decided, if he's going to repeat the fan size, why not do a new idea, do an authority story. And he did, he did, he did a story about masks, about Halloween masks killing people, and the film's ballsy. When you think about it, this film is ballsy because it's a mask, an Halloween mask. You get a song where I was just singing, What Kills Kids. Shock, horror. This film was ballsy back in that era. It really was a ballsy film. And I actually like um, Halloween Face. Sadly to say, it got a lot of shit when it came out back in 1982. Nobody liked it because it didn't have. Didn't have Michael Mathis in it, sock horror. And I don't get it. I just don't get it even today. I don't fucking get why this film gets the fuck because it doesn't have Michael Mathis. In all fairness, and I'm speaking my mind, in all fairness, John Tarpenter ran out. He did something different. He did something unique. And when you think about it, the only last Halloween film that was dud in my eyes after this was Halloween 4. Halloween 5. Darby's, I mean six, Darby's, whether it's a diet, just cut, or the theatrical, they're both shit. I mean, H2O, okay, they've been back to the Turtles, but what did it really bring to the cards? I mean, the resurrection, they kill off Jamie Turtles' character, being Lolly Stoll, dude. They made everything she went through in one, two, and okay, I'll, I'll introduce it, H2O, pointless. But Halloween 3, Season of the Ritz, got no problems with it. And when you think about it, Jamie Curtis is in the film and all, she does a tamarill with her voice, which I always love taking the mick. Turfu, turfu, you're going to get a turfu. And I always love the ending where the character says, Stop it, stop it, stop it. That's it. So I love Halloween 3. My other favourite horror movie would have to be Bum, 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 bum. Danted, it's not really a horror movie, but it is in many ways. And the fact that the history of that film is brilliant. It's just brilliant. The idea that the site was not working, dandled by Ottafer, um, sums it up because when you think about it, we had the botanical sack, it was forever breaking down to the point that even Steven Spielberg got pissed off, got it to take right turd, which makes me laugh. That's benefited the film so the bits when the site was attacking people the less you see made it stare made it feel like i'm watching a horror movie and no 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 i do not want to see a remake of jaws jaws is brilliant as it is it is like a horror film you see where you get to see the sack and then so put it easily right the first bits the dude gets killed the little boy gets killed you got that stary bum 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 music the first bits of that film, in my eyes, is an horror movie. It's a freaking horror movie. And then when you get to the bit with voice sides on, they're going after the sack, it turns into an offensive film. And that's what I love about the film. I love, they've got a dream, you've got date characters, you've got voice sides on. It's brilliant. And that's what I love about Jaws. Um, other favourite ones. This is generally isn't really a lot of movie, but I would say it does have good moments in it off terror, that being the birds. I love the music. No music. And that's what makes the film. No music. You've got realism. 
you've got birds attacking people left right and center i love the birds i think it's an iconic film i think it's a brilliant film i love the birds in and out i love the birds so without ado i like the birds i like the fact you've got the birds flapping about it's a slow burn it's a slow burn but one thing you've i've diff alfred Distock, master of expense he is very good at making slow fucking burn films and giving it that expense and just calling the master of expense for the fun of it and it sums it because it's a build-up and the thing i love about the bird is you never knew the reason was it because they wanted to take over was it because they didn't like what happened to the other bird why so i remember saying that my other favorite all of the review i love the birds buy me out give me bird shit i love it right my other favorite on the movies why not why not one of the other favorites would have to be and i've just said it halloween 2. just like halloween 3 halloween 2. Sadly, i do love the original one i love what it bought back in 78 i respect it but halloween 2 i just felt the the mast the tapping teaster mast by Ian sentinel got his name right Ian sentinel i felt it was a lot more cheapier in fact you see the eyes all the way through i love i love the fact that there's bits in it where he dumps out he kills that first bit did and the eyes are staring at you yes he walks he doesn't run like jason forties or these other slashes but he doesn't need to the walk is cheap he walks he looks like he's in a trance the way this actor does it to me he has to be my favorite michael matthews i've every actor don't get me one i like every actor that paid michael but i've every actor he did it burn there? Is he big? Is he eight foot something? Like the fucking Rob Zombie Halloween? No, it doesn't need to be. He just walks and the way he just delivered it, he does it like he's in a trance. A bit like in number one, but he does it better. It's like he's in a trance. And the bits where he's going after Tame Returns and he just walks. He, just, he doesn't even give a shit. He just walks through a task fucking, a task window door, smashes it, doesn't give a shit, gets shot up, gets up. I just love it. Even when he's on fucking fire he's walking around like the freaking exterminator he's like what the fuck so yeah halloween 2 has to be one of my favorite ones i felt the jaffiness the fiance the fact it was more fine <coughs> i loved i felt it was more physical and that was that to me that to me made the character more frightening and more terrifying i thought doing it more blood more door making it more traffic made that more of a frightening gnome that's to keep it on out um my other favorite on films let me think let me think we've got loads loads let me think i'm just trying to think let me think 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 i'll go forget it i'll go forget it um not tight a lot of movie but again i do like it that'd have to be alligator Yes, you could say out of date or it's a Jaws rip-off, but a damn good one. It starts off again, slow burn, you've got a baby out of date or it gets chopped in the sewer and it turns into a fucking, it becomes a cheats the feats a monster film. And I love out of date or it doesn't fuck about. Yes, the effects now, you can see it's a bit naff, it's muggle work and fucking, you know, a fake one here, stop motion here. But I love that, I love it because... I think myself that tips at a time. Tips at a time. So that's Aditator. I don't figure, even though it's not a lot of me there, I've been shopping today, day off work, and I figure, why not, why not? So, this. Without wearing my socks on, I'm just wearing some socks, people, don't get excited. This beautiful, beautiful shirt I bought. Don't put it on the light. Look at that for a shirt. Bought it today. 14 quid, 14 smackers, no I'm not naked, I was wearing socks, stand up so you can see a better look of it, my beautiful new shirt, I'm sewing off, so that's my new beautiful shirt, tomorrow I'll probably talk about all the movies I hate, I fucking spies, but you tell them people, be smart, be safe, and hopefully next week, happy Halloween.